country music star they call the Southern Gentleman. He was a veteran performer by the time he reached his early teens, and he now ranks with the best of all country entertainers. His folks and their folks before them were talented performers. So when the spotlight turned his way, he was well prepared to become a top headliner. Even before a gold record made him one of country music's big recording stars, he was in constant demand for personal appearances throughout the United States and Canada. His name is Sonny James, and his music and story is our next salute on Country's Star Round. With your host, Rod Cameron. With your host, Rod Cameron. Featuring Laurie and Larry, the Collins Kids. Glenn Campbell, with the music of Gene Davis and the Star Robbers. And saluting Sonny James. Now, here's Rod Cameron. Hello again. The young man we salute this week is known throughout country music as the Southern Gentleman. An all-round performer, he writes as well as records some of country music's biggest hits. And here he is, Sonny James. <laughs> I got off of work today, I was a happy man, happy because a good girl was waiting to hold my hand, but on my way home, she passed with a friend, and I knew that bad times are coming my way again, bad times coming, you're gonna break my heart, bad times are coming, you're gonna want a part. I know I can't trust you now. No, I just can't win. Oh, bad, bad times are coming, coming, coming my way. All days and nights to buy things for you. Working and thinking you were being true. And just about the time I thought everything was right, I got a feeling bad times are coming, coming my way tonight. Bad times are coming, you're gonna break my heart. Bad times are coming. You're gonna want a part. I know I can't trust you now. No, I just can't win. Whoa, bad times are coming, coming, coming my way again. Bad times are coming, coming, coming my way again. Bad times are coming, coming, coming my way again. Time you see a teenager put a coin in the jukebox, give a listen. The chances are you'll be hearing another big hit by Sonny James, like First Date. Here's the way it's done by our own Glenn Campbell. You 
You know I've got this funny feeling I've worked hard at concealing But I can't hide this wonderful thrill I've kept up a constant chatter Pretending nothing matters And I beg my heart to please Please be still First love Tonight was our first love We know the meaning of Our first love and our last Well, I've got this funny feeling I've worked hard at concealing But I can't hide this wonderful thrill I've kept up a constant chatter Pretending nothing mattered And I beg my heart to please Please be still First love You know this is our first love We know the meaning of Our first love and our last Our first love and our last That was mighty nice, Glenn. Well, thank you, Rod. You know, Sonny James has had a lot of hit records, and I guess one of my favorites is the thing called The Cat Came Back, remember? Yeah, it seems to me I made a picture by that title once. <laughs> I've seen all your pictures, and boy, when you <coughs> let them cats have it, they never come back. Well, right now, we're going to hear another Sonny James hit, Gold and Silver, by a pair we're always glad to see back, Lori and Larry, the Collins Kids. <laughs> Lots of money, cry every night for love.
Well, they just don't come any better than these two. Oh, thank, thank you, Rod. Rod. Thank you, kid. Sonny James got his start in country music at just about the same age as Larry and Lori. That was back in his home state of Alabama, where he made radio and television appearances. Then he moved to Nashville and began recording gold records like The Minute You're Gone. The minute you're gone, I cry. The minute you're gone, I die. Before you walked out of sight, I'm like a child all alone at night. I stare into emptiness. I'm filled with such loneliness. The world goes from right to wrong. The minute you're gone. The minute you're gone, I see. I couldn't be with you The minute you're gone, I pray The minute you're gone, I say Please don't stay away too long The minute you're gone Gone Sonny. Thank you, Rod. And since a fellow has to sell a million records to make the show, it's a real honor being the guest. Uh, you, uh, you sort of grew up in country music, didn't you? As a matter of fact, I was known as one of the Loden family back in Alabama and Tennessee and in the Midwest. We were a folk singing group. And uh, at the ripe old age of four years old, I began my career. Oh, well. Look, uh, speaking of your family, how about introducing us to them? Well, we'd like for you to come along and also all the star out cameras. If I think so that nice. would be just wonderful. All right. Mm -hmm. 
The southern gentleman of country music, Sonny James, lives in a gracious, sprawling colonial home located just across the Alabama state line, not far from Nashville. His wife, Doris, has been a part of country music for almost as long as Sonny, since her father is the all-time favorite, Red Foley. Hundreds of times every year, Sonny's personal appearances take him away from home. The drive from home to Nashville is a familiar one to Sonny. When the Tennessee State Capitol building comes into sight, just a few more blocks and time to think about going to work. If your work is recording hit records that sell millions of copies. Here at the Nashville Capitol Records office, Sonny comes often to discuss the popularity ratings of his current bestseller. Sonny's agent, Bob Neal, is also a close personal friend. Bob will point out that Sonny has the reputation of being among the most exacting performers in country music. He has always been willing to put in the extra time and effort to make every record the best he can do. And his consistent position at the top of country music sales and popularity charts proves that this young man knows what he's doing. An exciting stage personality, a top songwriter, and one of the best voices in country music. Sonny James is an important reason why country music is moving into the city in a big way. Sonny James is at home with a romantic ballad, too. He has a way of bringing out all the feeling that was written into a song. And so has our own Laurie Collins. You think you know the smile on his lips, the thrill at the touch of his fingertips, but I forgot more. Oh, honey, hail, hail, the king, don't do for the hour. 
Alabama Cuba Sonny James is a part of country music's new look and new sound. His style of singing is one of the reasons why millions of city as well as country folk flock to hear the kind of music that can be fun or come straight from the heart of the southern gentlemen of country music. Consider all the worlds thy hands have made. I see the stars, I hear the rolling thunder, thy power throughout the universe displayed. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. How great thou art, how great thou art. Then sings my soul. Pleasure saluting your career. Thank you, Rod, and believe me, it was a pleasure being saluted. Really well. This is Rod Cameron saying so long for now. See you next week on Star Up. <laughs>
Larry Alexander, speaking for Star Rock. Our show, country music's big salute to a gold record recording star, came to you this week from Toronto. Star Rock is a medallion production. <laughs>